The guilty verdict for Derek Chauvin has spurred dialogue in our city and around the world. But how should you handle these conversations with your children? News 12's Gabriella Milan has more. Police brutality and racial injustice is not a light subject to have at dinner or in class. But are children even curious about Derek Chauvin's current guilty verdict? No question that children will be interested in, in this story. When talking with Executive Director of Counseling and Schools, Kevin Dehill-Fuchel, he says not only will your children have questions, but you should also angle the conversation where you mainly ask your child the questions. Daddy or mommy has been listening to the news or, or been talking to people around this verdict. You know, do you have any questions about that? You know, what do you understand about that? Um, has anybody else talked to you about this? Did they bring it up in any of your classes? Dehill Fuchel also mentions that as a parent, asking teachers, counselors, or administrators how the school is addressing this issue is a great way to learn more about resources that they offer. Right now, weteachnyc.org slash resources already has multiple links related to anti-racism. But talking about this at home, outside of the classroom, could be the most impactful. None of it is nearly as powerful as the conversation the child will have with you as a parent around this. For, for them to know that their opinion or their feelings or their thoughts are important to you um, is monumentally important to their growth and development. Even though having these conversations at home might be hard, it's a way to prepare them for the reality of the world. Gabriella Million, News 12.